Hey, this is Jamie with Stonemaier Games, and for today's favorite mechanism video, I'm going to talk about Sushi Roll, which is a little bit like Sushi Go, or really a lot like Sushi Go, which is a card drafting game. However, in Sushi Roll, you're not drafting cards, you are drafting dice. And they're not just dice, they're one of the most beautiful components of 2019. They're these beautiful, chunky, colorful custom dice, and they are amazing. I love, I, I'm, not, I'm not even doing them justice on camera here, hopefully you can see them in the photo. They are beautiful, beautiful dice. Um, there's, the, there's white dice, there's purple dice, let me see if I can get them all up here. There's, there's red dice, there's a pink die, there's a green die. Here are the five right here, unless I'm missing one, but I think that's all of them. Yeah, so five different types of dice. Uh, and in this game, you are, we played a three player game, and so this, this might be very based on player count, but you take seven dice, and you roll them all and you put them on this little conveyor belt tile and then you take turns selecting one. So it's not a simultaneous draft like many drafting games. We were taking turns to do this and that matters for several of the different mechanisms in the game. But uh, you're, you're selecting one of these and you're keeping it for yourself. And then once all players have done that, you pass all of the dice, you pass like this, you push the conveyor belt to the next player and they get all of the dice. And then this is where some of the magic happens. They re-roll those dice. So you're not locked into the dice every round, uh, rather you're locked into the types of dice on each conveyor belt, but uh, the results of those dice rolls will change because every turn you get to roll the dice. That feels really good. I, I love that they let players roll the dice throughout the game because it gives you, even though it isn't really agency, it gives you variability from turn to turn. You can't just plan ahead the entire round because you, you can see everything that's out there. You um, Rather, you, and, and you get this feeling of, I'm gonna get lucky here. I, I, I might get lucky and roll the exact thing that I need. But the, even the, the real brilliant thing about this mechanism, and the thing that elevates it, I think beyond many other drafting games, this definitely would have made my drafting top 10 list that I recently filmed, is that, uh, is the level of visibility about what you were being passed. In a card drafting game, you don't know the cards in other players' hands until they reach you, and then you know for sure what cards are being passed around. You don't know what cards are being selected, but you know the cards that are in that hand. So in a three-player game of like Seven Wonders, I would have seen the same hand come around twice. I would know what's in it. In this game, because you are re-rolling these dice, you don't know exactly what you're getting. However, what you do know is really, really important, and that is the types of dice that are out there. And so as I am selecting my dice, I can strategize ahead. I can say, okay, I'm going after these purple um, dice. There are some icons in the purple die that, that are, are set collection. I want to have like three of these little tempura, these fish tempura um, icons, shrimp, uh, shrimp tempura. Um, I want to get three of them. I can look around the table and see, hey, there are a lot of purple dice this round. I have a pretty good shot at getting this because I'm going to see more of this purple dice. Or you look around and say, there really aren't that many purple dice this round. That's not a good thing for me to go after. Um, same thing with these other dice. You are gaining a lot of information just by seeing the types of dice out there, but it's not perfect information because you have to re-roll the dice on your turn. This is brilliant, and I love that they did it with such a beautiful component. This component is constantly highlighted throughout the game. You're constantly touching and rolling and looking at these beautiful dice. Uh, yeah, awesome game. I cannot wait to play this game again because it is a ton of fun, and, uh, and, I, and I love this element of drafting. This visible element of drafting with imperfect information is awesome. If you have a different favorite mechanism in Sushi Roll, or if you want to talk about how this is your favorite mechanism as well, you could do so in the comments. Or if this reminds you of another drafting game that has visible but imperfect information, uh, I'd love to hear about it in the comments because I absolutely love this mechanism. Those are my thoughts on, on Sushi Roll. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks.